floor is yours. Thank you, Pastor. Appreciate the opportunity. I thank the Lord for being here tonight, and I thank everyone that's come out tonight to listen to me tonight. And I'll get in my scripture in just a minute. I want to testify a little bit, Houston, before I get into the message, if that's okay. I thought, you know, I was sitting there at work today, and I was meditating upon the Lord, and going through my message and everything, and writing my notes down and everything, and I just, I got discouraged, Houston, I don't know why I just got discouraged, I guess it was just the enemy and stuff, and I got discouraged, and got thinking about mom and dad, mom and dad's on vacation, and mom and dad's my biggest supporters when, I'm, when I get up and preach, because when I feel like I'm the least among the people, oh, I'll hear a good old amen from my mom, or <laughs> preach it, or you know, Mama always give me some words of encouragement, and I thought, I was feeling a little upset, and I thought, Houston, I needed to call Mom and Dad, two biggest prayer words I know, <laughs> and uh, I started talking to Dad, and all of a sudden, you, everybody knows Dad's not an emotional person, so I said, can I talk to Mom, and Dad said, yes, yeah, she's right here, hang on a minute, and I started talking to Mom, Keith, and I started breaking out, I was bawling, and Mom's words were, what's wrong? And I told Mom, I said, Mom, I'm feeling a little discouraged. And I said, I know it's just the enemy, I said, but really I'm just missing Mom and Dad. I miss Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad's always here, but it's good for them to get away and enjoy themselves by themselves. And, you know, I thought Mom was starting to pray for me right there on the phone, Rita, to the point she was about to speak in tongues on the phone and and everything, and I just thought, you know, that's all I needed was an encouraging word from Mama. I've always been a daddy's boy, but when I need some emotional support, Mama is always, Mama understands. Amen. But I thank the Lord for my parents, for both of them. I think I still got them, and we'll go ahead and get into the scriptures. If you got your Bibles, we'll be in Daniel chapter 3. Everybody knows these scriptures. These are familiar scriptures. Daniel chapter 3. I'll start with about the 19th verse. Now everybody knows the story of the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, yeah. Everything yeah. they went through. And old Nebuchadnezzar mm -hmm. decided he wanted to, you know, he didn't want to worship God at first. He wanted to set things up his own way and told him, you know, you hear all these things, Houston, you need to bow down and worship this image. Amen. Come on. Now the three Hebrew boys being as they were, they said no. And he had a little tattletale that told on them. And we'll get into the scriptures with that. Now I'm going to get my scriptures here. I'm going to bounce around the place. But if the Lord will help us tonight, Houston, I'd like to preach on going through the fire. Come on. I know other ministers have preached on this, and even my dad's preached on it, about God being in the midst. Come on. We know that God's always in the midst. Yeah, come but on. But I'm going to preach on going through the fire, Houston. And I feel, I'm going to get in a minute, hang on. I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling it just a little bit. Take your time. If my mama... Except for me, just to, she would pray and pray all day and all night that the Lord would give me what I needed. So I'm, I'm feeling the Lord just a little bit. Coming to church tonight was what I needed. But I thought going through the fire. Now, naturally, we can't go through the fire. We'll get burnt. Come on. Everything, Houston, will get burnt. Clothes, hair, everything. You name it, skin, everything. Gets burnt. Nothing worse in the world than smell of burnt anything. Hair, just the smoke, everything. Yep. Let me get in my scriptures and then I'll get to going where I'm going. Now see, like I said, the old king was mad because the Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were some of his favorites. Yep. And he got mad, Houston, because they didn't do what he wanted to. Yeah. Come on. Daniel 3, verse 19 says, Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. He was angry. 
So he was full of rage. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it wont to be heated. That's pretty hot. Seven times hotter is pretty hot. Now, I've been burnt, second degree burn work when I work, and it's hot. Yep. It'll melt your skin. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Now see, they were cast in with everything on Houston. Clothes, everything. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. The Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. See, even God was with them in the midst of that, Houston. Yep. And I'll read a few more scriptures, and then I'll get to the title of my message. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and spake, and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Yep. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. I'll stop there. I can read a few more, but I'll stop there. Okay. The title of my message is Going Through the Fire, Houston. Amen. Okay. These three Hebrew boys, they stayed true to God through the whole thing. When the Nebuchadnezzar gave his old creed for his idol, you know, his image or whatever, he said, when you hear all this music, you're supposed to bow down before this thing. Yep. And these three good old boys said no. no. <laughs> My daughter knows that word very well. Johnny, they said no. They worshiped the one true God. Amen. They didn't want to worship no idols. It can't get you nowhere, Sister Markham. Worshiping an idol, worshiping anything other than God will get you nowhere, Rita. Get you burnt. Now see, after they were thrown in there, see this, I got a few more scriptures where I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring some more of this in here. See, God didn't let them be in there by themselves. Because it says that there was a fourth man in there that was like unto the Son of God. Because see, even the old king... It puzzled the old king. Why are they still walking around? Why are they still in there? Why is there a fourth person in there? Didn't we throw in three? Yeah, yeah come on. All right. So he was puzzled. So he gets close to the fire. Not close enough to get burnt, but close enough and hollered for him. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come forth. They came out of there, Houston. Come on. See, they were going through the fire. Yep. Come on. They didn't stay long. They stayed in there long enough for the old king to open up his eyes, Philip. Come on. Because it doesn't make a difference who you are. One day you're going to have to call upon him. Yep. 
whether it be here or be up there. And it, and it says, when he called for them, then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Mm -hmm. See, they went through the fire. Bear with me while I get to my scriptures here. Come on, Joe. Come on, take time. I meant to mark them, and we got to be trying to feed the kids and everything, and I even left my phone and everything at home, and I thought, I'm not going to let it stop me, Houston. No. The enemy just doesn't want me to be here tonight. Come on. That's all it is. Come on. But I'm going through the fire. Amen. Amen. He ain't stopping me, Johnny. I'm going through the fire. I made it here, Sister Markham. I went through the fire. Okay, I went through the fire to get here tonight. I wasn't about to let anything stop me. I didn't, like I said, I've been discouraged today. But then after talking to Mama, and I know it was the Lord wanting me to talk to Mama. Yeah, yeah come on. Because I needed some encouragement. Now you say, wait a minute, you're a preacher. I might be a preacher, Cheryl, but I need some encouragement every now and then too. I need some lifting up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And there's no better God-fearing woman I know than my mom. Come on. My mom believes everything she says. Come on. Come on, Joe. Isaiah 43. And I'll just read here in verse 1. It says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Amen. See, God's still with us anyways. Amen. Come on, he didn't leave them. It says right here in the last part, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Yep. See, when old king called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come forth, that was just God using old Nebuchadnezzar Amen. to call them by their name because they were gods. Yep. That's how I feel, Houston. I'm gods. God has called my name, and I'm going to go through that fire, Sister Markham. I don't care, Brother Houston. It doesn't make a difference what trials, what tribulations, no matter what I go through, I'm going to go through that fire because I want what's on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling it, Houston. Amen. Come on. I see a little, a little thought that came to my mind with that was God is with us. Yep, all the time. All the time, every time. When I'm on my way to work, God is with me. Amen. When I'm walking down the street, God is with me. Yep. When I lay my head down at night for my little bit of rest I get, Cheryl, God's still with me. He doesn't sleep. He's awake. He's going to take me through the fire. Amen. Come on, Joe. Like I said, I've been burnt before, Philip, and it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I want to, don't want to do? I don't want to burn forever and eternity. Amen. I don't want to spend my eternity dwelling in some fire. Amen. Isaiah 41, verse 10, says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Mm -hmm. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Yep. 
I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. See? Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Yep. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't have to fear, for God was with them. Amen. He was right there with them and went through the fire with them. Yep. Come on. See? Come on. The firefighters and stuff, when they have to go through a fire and stuff, Houston, when they have to go rescue people out of buildings and they got to put fires and stuff out, they got to put on some equipment. And it, I'm sure it's heavy. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, it's fireproof. Fireproof, it's flame retardant. It's so they don't catch on fire and burn up when they go in there. That's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had God. God was their fire suit. Yep. He's fireproof, Johnny. He fireproof. So yeah. he's going to go with me all the way through that fire. Yeah. Fireproof. I told you I was going to jump around a little bit tonight, Houston. I got some scriptures tonight. Okay. Just have to bear with me. I feel the Lord. I feel Him good. I think the, I could shout a little bit right now. I thank the Lord and my mama. I know she's praying for me right now. I know she is. Amen. Come on, I love her. That's my mama. Psalm 66. Let me get there. Psalm 66. We'll just start with verse 10. It says, For thou, O God, hast proved us. Yep. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net. Thou latest affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. The little thought I got with that is God brings us out. Amen. Doesn't make a difference, Sister Markham, where we're at, what place we're in, what shape we're in, Philip. Long as we stay true, He'll bring us out. He'll keep us fireproof. Amen. Lord has been dealing me to preach this message, Houston, for several months. And I kept pushing against it because I didn't want to preach it. Because I didn't want to try and preach a similar thing to some other preachers like my dad. I know my dad's preached this message. I'll be 36 years old and my dad's preached out of this chapter as long as I can remember. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to go back Amen. to the archives and pull some of it out. Still sometimes good. we need what's in the archives. Still the word. It'll still feed us. It'll still help us. Amen. I should have had these marked. 
but it's all right. I'll find it anyways. That's what these little markers on the sides here are for. See, I'm hot and I'm burning up right now. <laughs> but it's nothing like what's going to happen, Houston, if I don't stay true. Come on. I might not go through the fire. If I don't stay true, I might stay in the fire. Come on. Like I said, I don't want to stay in the fire. Now. There we go. I'm preaching a little out, bit out of the Old Testament. I'll bring in some New Testament too. Come on. I'm just preaching as God gives it to me, Houston. Amen. Come on. Joshua chapter 1, verse, verse 9. And this little sub note I got with this is God is with us wherever we go. It says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Uh -huh. See, like I said, it doesn't make a difference where I go. God is still with me. Amen. See, before I get up in the morning, God's already there. He's already taking care of everything that I need. I just haven't realized it yet, Houston. Amen. Come on. See, when I get up in the morning and I wake up in the morning, God has already supplied me with my first breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's let me breathe through the night, but he's allowed me to see another day. Amen. I've, I've escaped death one more time. See, he's with us wherever we go. Amen. Even going through the fire, Sister Markham, he's still right there with us. He grabs our hand and he leads us through. I'm glad he's still with me, that he stays with me. I should say, I'm glad I still stay with him. Because he's never going to leave me, Cheryl. Amen. He's never going to leave me. He's never going to forsake me. He's going to go with me all the way. The only way he's not is if I get away from him. Come on. Then you know what happens? You know what happens? I'm stuck in the fire. I can't get out, Houston. Amen. I'm going to burn up. I don't have my fireproof protection anymore. See, over here in Romans 8 and 28, I'm sure most of everybody knows some of the scriptures too. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. See, you can tie that in with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. See, they knew that all things were going to work together for good because yeah. they loved God, Houston. Because they were called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. Said they stayed true through the whole thing, Sister Markham. They weren't going to bow down, Houston. Amen. And worship a false image, a false God. They knew, Rita, 
that if they did, they weren't going to go through the fire. They were going to stay in the fire. They'd have been burned up. They'd have been turned to ash. Yeah. There'd have been nothing left, Houston. Yeah. Nothing left. I thank God that he stays with me, that he's beside me, in front of me, behind me, all around me. Amen. Keith, I thank God that he stays with me. I don't know where I'd be if he wasn't with me. I might still be in the fire if God hadn't saved me. If God hadn't have brought me to where I am today, I might still be in the fire. Instead of going through it, I'd probably still be in it. Amen. See, just like the old king called the three Hebrew boys to come out. We need to be ready for when God calls us to come out too. When he's ready for us to step out of the fire and see what he's got in store for us on the other side, we need to be ready to come out. But I'm starting to feel the spirit leave and appreciate the opportunity to get here. I thank the Lord for what I felt tonight. I'll turn it back over to Houston. All right. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap. Let's all stand. You know, a couple things there. They went through the fire because they had a made-up mind. You know, they had made up their mind that they were going to go through the fire. They had made up their mind. They said, Nebuchadnezzar, the Lord can deliver us. But even if he doesn't, we know he still can. You know, in the 22nd chapter of Luke, uh, Jesus was talking to Peter and said, Simon, Simon, the devil has wanted to have you. Satan has wanted to have you, and he's desired to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that thy faith fail not. And when you're converted, strengthen your brethren. See, you know, a lot of people follow Jesus. A lot of people want to follow Jesus, but they don't want to be converted. They don't want to have that made-up mind. You know, and if we're going to go through the fire and people, we're going to go through some stuff. If we're going to go through that fire, we've got to have a made-up mind. We've got, to, we've got to have that mind of Christ. You know, Paul wrote, be you transformed or be changed by the renewing of your mind. Let's all stand. Let's come around the altar have a good season of prayer. So many times I've questioned